Hello and welcome back to the channel. Chinese company CT Toys that makes quality bootleg action figures left a new post on their X account, so we have some bootleg news to talk about. CT Toys posted that their KO of Mafex Brown Suit Wolverine will be released in October. And that is exactly what I was hoping for because if you remember what I said in previous video, some listings on AliExpress did say October, but most of them said November. I'm glad that they confirmed that it will be sooner than later. We are still waiting to see promo shots of the actual finished figure. All we have so far is that shot of a prototype, but we all want to see the figure fully painted and that will give us a better idea on how similar it will be to the original. Judging by what a lot of you guys said, if this figure ends up looking almost the same like the original, but it's smaller in size, that will be the perfect brown suit Wolverine. That is also why there is a nice number of you out there for whom, even though you never bought a bootleg figure, this could actually be the one that will push you over the edge. So, because for some of you guys this will be your first bootleg, that is one more reason why I truly hope that the figure will turn out great. Whenever we get some more updates for this figure, and it should be soon because we are practically in October, I'll make sure to share it with you guys here on the channel. But the news does not stop there. City Toys also announced a bootleg of Mafex number 190, and that's Webman, the blue and red version of Spider-Man, which which is something that we could have expected because it's the same mold as 185 and Symbiote Spidey. Since they are making all of these, I would love to see a Sony video game version as well. They could do that. So yeah, I don't know how sought after this figure is, but Webman is coming also in October. Next, they also announced Agent Anti-Venom. It's an inverted version of their amazing Yamaguchi Agent Venom, which it seems a lot of you guys really love. That one is on the way to me and it should arrive this week, so because all of the praise for this figure in the comments, I'm really hyped up. I believe what you are saying and I'm looking forward to messing around with this figure. So again, Agent Anti-Venom is coming out also in October, although I think that there are already some reviews for this guy on YouTube. And last bit of CT Toys news is a figure arts one because they are also making Spider-Punk, a figure that was released this year and I actually just finished recording a posing for it. It was a lot of fun. This figure is so good for posing and I'm looking forward to sharing that video with you guys as soon as I finish editing. Anyway, there is a photo of a prototype of this bootleg that they shared before and that could be the next SHF KO that they will release. Finally, I just wanted to say that with them making these quality bootlegs, the gates of hell are now opened. People are firing up CT Toys X account with endless requests on all the figures that they want them to make. From Mafex Batman or or figure arts final swing Spidey all the way to Reveltech TMNT. People want to see all of them in a quality bootleg form. It's funny how we got to this point. Unfortunately, original releases are getting more and more expensive and for a lot of people this is the most affordable way to get some of their most wanted figures for their collection. We are definitely living in an era where bootlegs are no longer what they were before, but that's a topic for another video. If you are looking to get any of these CT Toys figures, they did send me a link to what they call their store, even though they don't have an official store. It's probably an AliExpress seller that they are recommending, so if you want, you can use that link. Same as last time, I have to say that I can't guarantee for these links and AliExpress sellers. When you're buying over there, that is completely your own responsibility. Always do the basic research, check seller store grading and feedback left by other customers. So that was all I wanted to share in this video, stay tuned for updates on on that brown suit Wolverine. As always, a special thank you goes out to my Patreon supporters for helping me to keep the channel alive. Everything that I earn on Patreon goes into the content of the channel, so if you can join it, please do so. It will be greatly appreciated. And if you can't, that's also okay. Thank you for checking out the video, thank you for being here with me, and I'll see ya in the next one.